Now to our streets, our stories, and we begin with some frightening facts. American women are most likely to become victims of sex crimes and domestic homicides. That makes self-protection for women vital, and packing a gun isn't always the answer. Tonight, some women have found a form of personal protection by learning a fighting system that prides itself on how dirty it can be. Here's RTV6's Chris Prophet. Sherry Kinnerk is throwing punches and escaping chokeholds. For nearly five years, she's been training in Krav Maga, an Israeli Defense Forces fighting system. For Sherry, the reason for learning Krav was painful and personal. I was married to someone who wasn't always very nice. So, and in that aspect, I think Krav has been, it's actually been very healing. We make a quick defense by making a plucking motion, simultaneously palm heel strike to the face from here, and again, Everything is bread and butter from here. Jeff Fredrickson is the owner and head instructor of the Fisher's Krav Maga Training Center, the only one in Indiana, and 33% of his students are women. Amy Howard is a business owner who travels alone internationally. She remembers being taught, like most women, to yell and run if confronted by an attacker. There's going to be situations where that is not going to be enough. You have to be able to react to a situation as it's unfolding and do something more than yell. While these female students of all ages have their reasons for learning Krav Maga, there's one that can't be ignored. Over 22 million American women have been raped in their lifetime, and women ages 20 to 24 are at the greatest risk of domestic violence. Krav Maga's female students say that the techniques they learn level the playing field, hand-to-hand -hand combat where strength is irrelevant. We say complacency is our first step to failure, um, and thinking that it's just going to be other folks rather than us uh, is the first mistake. Go! To that end, students are also trained in crowd escape techniques, an unfair fighting system that also uses groin kicks, eye strikes, and looking for a quick exit out of a potentially life-threatening situation. I've been uh, even just grabbed by the hair and pulled backwards over the sofa before. I remember that. It will never happen again because I know what to do. Women learning to protect themselves in an often violent world using training that may one day save their lives. Chris Prophet, RTV6. Fredrickson also trains federal and local law enforcement and the military in Krav Maga. He also says students are first taught to avoid confrontation before using force.